Now, one thing that people are really debating at the moment is the importance of water changes. And there's various methods that are getting recognised that um, don't encourage regular water changes. Now, I just want to run through some of the advantages and disadvantages of not doing water changes. The first major advantage is stability. You're able to create quite a stable ecosystem. But something that you've got to be aware of is the amount of fish stock you have. So if you have lots of fish, that means you're going to end up with more waste in the aquarium. Therefore, the um, importance of the water change is going to be more. And something else to consider is old tank syndrome, or what I'm calling when the mulm builds up through the bottom of the sand, and eventually the oxygen can't get into the sand, and then you can see the release of things like hydrogen sulfide that can leach into the environment, causing old tank syndrome. Therefore, doing a, say, monthly or a yearly spring clean, sorry, would be a good way of um, reducing that particular risk. Um, now, the other thing is that various people um, are for or against heavy protein skimming. Um, if they're going to reduce water changes, um, some people like not overly skimming, and then they believe that that holds a lot of the trace elements and so forth in. Other people actually advocate for very intense skimming. Now, so the skimmer is definitely a variable factor if you're going to cut down water changes. Obviously, you're still going to need RO top up. Another thing that can definitely be a factor is accumulants. So you can use products like Polyfilter to remove accumulants. So accumulants are basically all the stuff that we can't test and we don't know. So Polyfilter is going to also increase the amount of time that you can go without doing a water change. Now the other thing that will be a big variant is quality of food. So very clean, very good quality food is going to stretch out the amount of time that you can get away with without doing a water change. So Spectrum's probiotics or Danichi would definitely be two to look at. And the other thing is um, ICP tests, because ICP tests are able to give you a much broader indication of the things that you don't know that you don't know. Now, my opinion with um, the reducing water changes is that that has got a shelf life, but over over time, accumulants and pot potential hydrogen sulfide buildup does um, increase the amount of risk. So, all in all, the amount of stock, the quality of food, your other ability to remove um, accumulants are all factors, but I think, um, you need to monitor your own aquarium and be responsible for it. So water changes are still, in my opinion,